Hi guys, Pepper in the Woods here, and like my last video I said about um, I'm going to upgrade one of my pots, and this is the pot I went for. It is a 14 centimeter, 2 liter pot from uh, Zebra. It's a loop handle pot with auto lock. I'm going to take it to the stump over here now and show you what I think about it, um, and some changes I'm going to make to it. So I got this one because everybody was raving about it on Facebook and in a couple of groups and I usually wait um, to see the feedback before I get it. <clears throat> this is probably a little bit bigger than what I need. I thought it would be a lot smaller than what it is. The lid is quite nice. It has a long lip on it. Um, if you're boiling water, I don't think that's going to knock the lid off or anything. Um, so I think that's quite sturdy. You could use that a fork or something or a stick to lift the lid off, which is nice. Comes with a little frying pan slash bowl. So if you want to do some cooking with that, you can. The lid, the lid also fits on that one. So you have another container. Now this is 14 centimeters. So it's 14 centimeters from here to here, but also 14 centimeters deep. Um, it comes with plastic clips, which I don't know why, because if you're using it near open fire, you would have to take them off anyway, because you would probably ruin everything. When the handle comes up, that keeps everything in place. The lid is on, no shaking. I mean, there's no noise, it's proper secure. But you can buy these clips, uh, metal clips for them. Um, they cost about 15 pounds. I've seen them on a bushcraft shop. Or you could be a little bit creative and just take them off. And I made um, some of these up, which are just copies of the clips. And I made them for free. And all I did was um, take apart a clothes peg, um, un undo the wire that comes in a clothes peg, and just use that. But to be honest, um, I'll probably take these off and not need them. I don't I don't see the point if I'm hanging something over a fire there isn't anything that's going to like be a massive swing or something that I'm gonna need to lift the pot lid securely on it that bad I mean I'd rather have them off and then I can always lift the lid up check to see if the water's boiling and food's cooked put the lid back on or add other ingredients to it instead of having to take this off put the handle down then lift this, do check it or put some food in there and then have to put this lid back on and then put it back on the fire so to me it seems a bit more of a hassle I mean, it's a nice idea but it seems a bit more of a hassle to me than anything um, I can't cook with it as of yet because we have a uh, weather warning in effect and there's too much dry grass so we can't do open fires yet so I'll have to wait for a little bit till we eventually have rain and then um, I can go out and um, set this up and do some cooking for you guys. Um, I like to see how much stuff I can store in there as well for my bag. Because of the size of this, I'm going to have to make some room in my bag and fit some kit in here, which would be nice. But overall, like I said, I've seen loads of uh, good reviews on this. So um, I just took the bullet in there and uh, wanted to get it. But like I said, it looks really nice. Very sturdy. It's from Thailand. Um, you know, it's just well known in the bushcraft community, and I'm glad I got it. Uh, any other tips, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.